Naga Munchetti, 46, has taken to Twitter in response to a post made by a BBC broadcaster. The post spread awareness about an event which aimed to tackle loneliness in the LGBT community as he received a warning about his BBC breakfast appearance. Josh Perry tweeted the original message which included a picture from the event. The image included a paper printout of a message reminding people not to swear when live. The tweet by at Josh Perry read, I'm in Chester with at Chester Pride who are hosting a special Christmas lunch to tackle loneliness in the LGBT community this festive period. I am loving this reminder for their guests this morning. More on at breakfast at 0720 and 0820. The photo read, in all caps, don't swear, it's the BBC. Josh tweeted the message out to his 7,655 followers. Josh received plenty of positive comments from eager fans. Eto T. Giuliano said, Lovely to see you on the telly box this morning at Josh Perry Merry Christmas Sex at Pickle 1450 wrote, jokingly, that's the reason to swear in response to the photo. At Matthew Foster penned, Nice work just seeing it. Merry Christmas. MX Naga then responded to the message in a quote tweet with three laughing emojis. Dot this was done in view of her 264,600 followers. She, too, was met with plenty of good humor and positivity from fans in the comments. At Peter Crote, Merry Christmas Naga, GR8 to see you today, you really are the best morning TV presenter, my opinion. Sick, at Law PhD 2 Penned, Merry Christmas Naga, lovely to see you looking so festive this morning, have a great day. At Yediuk said, playfully, swear creatively and in other languages. On a recent BBC Radio Live 5 broadcast, Naga had to tell a fan off for swearing on air. She later apologized after realizing she misheard them. A caller said the phrase stop making apologies, while involved in a debate with the radio host about the Omicron variant. The broadcaster misheard him, thinking he swore, saying, Hold on, let's watch our language for one moment Howard, it's 9. 19 in the morning. She was quick to correct herself, saying, I've given my ear a shake, sorry Howard, I thought you said a bad word and you didn't, you said, stop, I know you didn't and I apologize, 